from one tropical scene to another, although this time the subject is dancing, Philippine style. In case you're wondering why that audience looks so westernized, that's because the ceremony is staged no nearer the Orient than a holiday camp at Air in Scotland, where the dance has been slightly anglicized. In place of the Filipino name, Tinikling, it's called Chopsticks, and you'll see why in a moment. To fill in the background, we should explain that life in the rural areas of the Philippines, where 80% of the population live and work, is still as simple as it always has been. In a country abundantly blessed by nature, there is much to celebrate in dance and song. And dances of the lowland rice-growing countryside express the people's joy in work, love for music and gaiety, gratitude for a good harvest, or simply a song for a pretty day. This is perhaps the best known, and named after the tickling, a long-legged bird seen in the rice paddies, it is danced, as you'll have gathered, between rapidly clapped bamboo poles. The real thing is actually danced by as many as three couples at the same time, showing off their skill and timing. Even so, our English expert, Wendy Edwards, is pretty nippy. Most of us are so used to ambling round a congested dance floor at funeral march tempo, we've forgotten what it's like to put some effort into real dancing. And what looked so easy when done by an expert brings a bewildering number of undiscovered muscles into play. The following day brings a bewildering number of aches and pains. in its traditional performance reflects a number of different cultures which go to make up the character of the Philippines. Linked in this way with the British spirit of fun, it produces an exciting new dance which might well catch on. Not exactly the beatnik's cup of tea, but there again, nor would the Lambeth Walk or the Highland Fling have been.